people all over the world have been enamored with One Piece for 25 years. It is both the most popular manga and the longest-running shonen anime ever. In a bold Japanese-style RPG format, One Piece, Odyssey makes a valiant effort to retell four significant One Piece story arcs. Odyssey, however, does a fantastic job of letting each character shine as it portrays the classic anime series in a passionate, an expressive manner, playing as the Straw Hat Pirates, who have been shipwrecked on the island of Wofford, is how One Piece Odyssey is played. The crew includes several members of the Straw Hats, including Luffy, Nami, Zoro, Robin, Sanji, Chopper, Yuzop, Brook, and Frankie, but Jinbei, the most recent member of the crew, is regrettably absent. The crew begins exploring the lush island because their ship, the Thousand Sunny, is severely damaged and they have no way to escape. The Straw Hat Pirates' powers are taken from them shortly after they land on Wofford and the only way to regain them is by reliving the events of their earlier adventures. Alabasta, Water 7, Marineford, and Dressrosa are just a few of the well-known One Piece story arcs that you play through. These cover some of the most significant events in One Piece history, so fans of the show will enjoy reliving their favorite moments. I've been a fan of One Piece for about 20 years and adore its grand tale and endearing cast of characters. One Piece Odyssey's story arcs are developed in a way that is both familiar and novel. Primary plot points in each of the game's arcs are well known but there are also brand new moments that pop up as you play through old memories. As you explore the new lands of Wofford, Memoria, and Hysteria, you'll face off against both well-known antagonists and brand new adversaries. In One Piece, Odyssey, four crew members engage in simultaneous turn-based combat where advantages and disadvantages are determined by the rock-paper-scissors method. Due to how straightforward the combat is, the game is able to put a lot of emphasis on the personalities and animations of these characters while still maintaining stunning visuals and engaging gameplay. The Scramble Area Battle System, which randomly places characters and enemies in relation to your chosen battle formation, enables you to choose whether you want to engage in close quarters combat or long range combat depending on where they are positioned in relation to the action. Additionally, through player control and attacks and abilities, respectively, crew members and enemies can move between and occupy the same zones. The Scramble Area Battle System is useful because it allows you to plan ahead for each fight and place the crew accordingly, making sure that tanks and fighters are on the front lines and healers and mages are less likely to be attacked. Each character's fighting style is taken into account by the rock-paper-scissors battle system, which follows the order power greater than speed greater than technique. Additionally, as long as they haven't already taken a turn, you can switch your active team members at any time with one another or a member of your bench team. You can switch between the two characters with the push of a button, for instance, if an enemy is a power type, making them vulnerable to Zoro's attacks, but it's Yuzop's turn. If you accidentally switch to Chopper when you meant to switch to Robin, you can switch without consequences or the tedious scrolling through menus by using this feature, which you can use during any of your turns in combat. Battle systems, zones, and the flexibility to replace any crew member at any time enable a range of tactical options. Furthermore, it nudges you to utilize each character's unique skills. The combat system is effective because it encourages you to consider how each character's position in the battle, their skills, and the nature of the battle can be used to your advantage or detriment. Each battle is engaging because you are compelled to think about the situation because repeatedly pressing the A button during combat results in low damage being dealt to enemies. One Piece Odyssey's biggest selling point is that you can play as every crew member at almost any time during the game, and this perk applies to non-battle situations as well. Each straw hat pirate in the overworld has a special ability that allows you to learn more about the world of Wofford, mostly by resolving puzzles in the environment. Exploring the world becomes a more thought-provoking experience when you have to consider puzzles and how to use your crew to solve them. For instance, using Yuzop's slingshot to take down a bird's nest, then switching to Luffy and using his rubber arms to grab the item inside without having to take a step, is a satisfying experience, especially as you progress through the game and these actions become second nature. A cohesive and satisfying experience is produced by communicating the crew's synergy to the player through minor inputs and actions. Each character's abilities also feel distinctive and draw attention to their advantages and disadvantages. To grab items from a distance or to reach high places, Luffy can extend his arms. Additionally, he possesses the observation Haki, which gives him the ability to spot objects and uncommon foes. The food that Sanji prepares can be used to heal the crew and have effects that ordinary items can't. He can find hidden ingredients for cooking. Chopper can enter holes, tunnels, and can find spaces thanks to his diminutive size. Zoro can cut through metal doors with his katanas, and Nami has the ability to find money that would go undetected while playing as other characters. Each character in One Piece, Odyssey is given the chance to stand out in a way that is unique to them, echoing the themes of friendship and teamwork that have made One Piece an all-time classic anime and manga. One Piece, Odyssey does a fantastic job of balancing being a great video game adaptation of an anime. 
When you join the characters on their epic journey, it succeeds in making you feel close to the characters because it feels joyful, bright, and true to the tone and content of the original work. One Piece wouldn't be complete without Luffy stuffing his face with food and listening to Sanji and Zoro argue. That is the quintessential One Piece moment, and Odyssey perfectly captures it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and support my channel lesser than 3.